What's going on? Oh. What's up, guys? So, so I would make a quick video here to go over the latest and the most raging stuff that's going on in the fitness industry right now. So lately, this guy, David Laid, has been accused of taking steroids. So, and so he's not gonna make a video to stand up for himself at all. And there's also a few videos going around about his friends that he works out with and all that kind of stuff. Um, honestly, I don't think there are any of them are on steroids. I think people just misinterpret how working out actually works and they get too caught up in other people's success and they want the same success, so. Oh, reason number one. Why Mr. David Laid is not on steroids. David Laid is very, very dedicated to fitness. If you've ever seen his Train for Life, Gymshark fitness movie film thing, you can just tell that this guy literally cares so much and has so much pride and dedication into lifting. Therefore, he's been training since he's like 15, 16 years old, been going ham, powerlifting, all that, pouring his heart out into the sport. And he got, he got somewhere with it, you know, he got noticed and made a crazy transformation. Um, and then, you know, being up there at the top, people don't see <clears throat> what those people have as a resource. David Laid has the top of the top people training him and helping him pursue his goals into fitness. He has his o Osmar Isof and Silent Mike training him and showing him the ropes. Um, those guys are very well known, very educated. Point number two. Probably gonna put that up on the screen too, but okay. So just because you don't see everything behind a camera, this is one big thing that all these freaking stupid idiots, they just see all of a sudden this guy's going from 315 to a 390 bench overnight, it seems like. But they don't realize that this dude has been training for over a year on an incline press a bigger range of motion and he's been training he even says himself that he trains incline first to show off his strength on the bench and he does deadlifts and he does them conventional to build up more strength which is a bigger range of motion so of course that if you're doing a smaller range of motion like a bench press or a sumo deadlift there's a way less range of motion and obviously if you train your strength up for over a year and you slowly build up those PRs, you're not gonna just go straight for a 390, you're gonna slowly build up and see what you can lift. And yeah. Also, one thing that I saw that David Laid has been doing lately, he's been using smelling salts. So, I mean, those don't change you overnight and make you a superhuman, but those definitely do help and they can make you a lot more alert and to execute that PR, you know? It just puts you in kind of like flight or flight mode and you're just ready to go. You just, boom, execute that lift. And you can see he doesn't always use the best form because he's just trying to get that up there um, he lifts his butt off sometimes, but you can just see that he's tried a million times for each lift, and you just see the outcome of these crazy increases, and of course there's going to be haters thinking you take a little bit of juice. So, David is definitely a very strong person, and this is going to be my third point. Um, Okay, so my third point is about the juice is you would 
put on freaking a mass amount of size and I feel like David Late really hasn't put on a crazy amount of size he's definitely got more aesthetic and more like veins and stuff but that's literally what comes with time it just his body hasn't made a crazy 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 change since his transformational video however many years he's definitely looks better and whatever not and he's he's already looked like this for a while is all I'm saying and you if you're taking steroids and you're cruising blasting whatever the frick those guys do you're you're gonna like build a lot of muscle real quickly and I don't see that he has really like he's definitely built muscle and everything but he hasn't put on a crazy amount of mass um, so another point I'd like to state this man gained 20 pounds and he is in a caloric surplus which a caloric surplus is where most people make their gains if you check out Chris Jones at Pump Chasers he recently just made a video stating that he didn't stop making like progressive gains until about his fifth or sixth year and David Lahid is on about four or five and that's when Chris Jones said he had to change some stuff up around the sixth year and that's when he started bulking and cutting and doing the Chris Jones dirty bulk that became a very viral sensation on social media and YouTube <clears throat> lots of people did that because they noticed you know saw this works for this guy so they want the same results anywho anyone in the caloric surplus can make mad amounts of crazy strength gains and stuff on top of all this David has been training his incline for a long time prior to this that's why he's posted PRs until upcoming because he's been training for it and now he's showing off his strength that he's gotten over that past nine months to 12 months of training for it I also found a few reports and I found a thing from 2014 that proves it is a long time ago but it shows a raw natural strength for that body weight and this chart is literally pretty far off because I know there's people way stronger than that now obviously four years later like we, we learn so much as humans so quickly but anyways we <coughs> we four years ago and I'll show you what people were lifting at a raw natural strength for the squat, bench, and deadlift. Also, I read another article and I will link it or post something in this video about it too, about a guy who made, he added 300 pounds overall to his overall lift in nine months and he's been lifting for multiple 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 years so that's about the same amount of time that David has upped his stuff and he hasn't even upped it close to 300 pounds in all all three lifts maybe like about 150 pounds so that's half that and this guy was a natural power lifter so that it goes to show you that another reason why David is not on steroids I think people are just so stupid these days they just love to hate and love to cause controversy and drama and it just doesn't make sense so he has the dedication he has the money he has the resources um, to get to where he wants to be and that is worth so much in this day and age because to have the best of the best teach you what to do and show you the ropes and having all all the free time that you can have to be able to do those kind of things I feel like lots of ludicrous things could happen in your lifting career anyways guys that's gonna wrap up the video here um, hope you enjoyed it it's just a different kind of video kind of talking about some controversy going on uh, yeah I'll be sure to be making awesome videos coming up I got my new camera Nice and crystal clear right here. 
Got some crazy freaking lights. Oh god, I can't even see. Ooh, ooh, god. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm still small. But yeah, anyways, I will. I got a sick video coming up here shortly. Um, I will have it up in about a week. Um, yeah. Peace out, bruh.